If you're undertaking brewery or winery cellaring applications, if your activities involve a pump, we've got a brand new one at Keg King that works marvelously. This is the Wurt Master, our new pump that we worked in collaboration with Blickman Engineering to provide to you. This pump offers some fantastic features and the pump head itself is super easy to use with lots of flexibility so that you can hook it up to all sorts of different processes in your brewery, in your winery, in your cidery. I'll show you exactly what we've done to make this one of the best little pumps out there at any price. One of the first things that we changed when it came to the performance of this pump, the 25 watt pump has sold well for like 10 years and it had some options and flexibility that it came with a plastic head with uh, half inch BSP attachments. But you could upgrade to a stainless steel one with half inch BSP threading as well. But what this pump head does that no other did before this was that it has a triclover attachment for the 25 watt pump that allows you to orient the input and output how you'd like. So it can go vertical, it can go horizontal, and all we really need to do is loosen the pump head and then we can change its direction just like that. So the Wurtmaster also has this built-in on-off switch that's on the mounting bracket for it. This makes it really convenient as well because with the older pump, you just had this lead that you'd have to plug or unplug or plug into some other switching device. So having it located directly on the pump that you'd like to activate for whatever process you're running makes it really handy. The mounting bracket itself has these holes here for being able to mount it either vertically, horizontally, however you need to have it oriented for the processes that you're running in your cellar. Now, the other key feature with this is these half inch BSPs, which are threaded so that you'll be able to attach whatever you want to. Cam locks, you can use triclover, you can use barbs, whatever you'd like, because this is gonna make it very flexible for you to decide how you'd like to hook up the tubing that you're going to connect to be able to do your pumping. Now, another great feature, and this is one of the best parts of this, is this little purge valve here. So it's a, like a PRV for a pressure relief, but at the same time, this is gonna allow you to be able to purge air bubbles out of your line to be able to prime the pump so that it fills better. So quickly, let's take this pump head apart because it does come apart very simply for cleaning maintenance and any other reason you might have. And we'll have a look. Just be careful when you do take them apart. This bushing's quite important and so are the one at the back of the impeller. Um, and of course, you don't wanna lose this O-ring. This is very important as well, just for keeping the seal so that the liquid stays nice and tight away from uh, the rest of the pump body. The ability of this pump is 3.4 meter head and it's um, about a 3000 RPM. So that's gonna give you a lot of great uh, application across a bunch of brewery processes, including say moving water from a hot liquor tank over into your mash tun, or if you've got single vessel breweries, moving your wort anywhere you'd like in your brewery, nice and sanitarily through a stainless steel head. There's all sorts of great applications in winery process for racking and moving between barrels. It's a really simple little pump to run and now even easier since you have the ability to turn it on and off right at your fingertips. So we'll just demonstrate the capabilities of the Wartmaster. Uh, we've attached some cam lock fittings to it using a bit of thread tape on the BSP threading on the pump head itself. So I'm using the female cam locks on the tubing. And we'll go ahead and lock these in. I love cam lock, always have. It's just such a great way to make the connections in your brewery systems and in your cellar systems. Uh, because once they're all pinched together, that's a really nice tight seal between the two parts. So we'll go ahead and open up the flow of the liquid. In this case, a bit of lime cordial so you can see the color difference and see it in the tubing is, itself. Um, now, should we wind up with air in this system as it's purging, we can always pull this um, purge valve and try to get a bit of the liquid to come through just like that. So we know now that there's liquid inside the cavity of the pump. So what we'll go ahead and do now, because we can, is turn on the pump with the switch, just like this. And that's it. It's really quiet operation. And we're now creating a nice looping pump cycle with the Wartmaster. 
So I wouldn't use these for boiling water because you'll wind up with cavitation um, and it just makes it a little bit more difficult for the pump to operate. But of course, uh, really hot liquids are fine with the 25 watt pump with this stainless steel pump head for the Wart Master. So that's it, it's a really simple situation. Should we want to, we could stop this pump just like that. That's the Wart Master. The Wart Master is just a really simple, very easy to use, very flexible pump for all of your cellar processing.